I woke up one morning after showering. I walked out into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC unit and vents, and I heard this little rumble like a small twiddling through some plastic bags. These are the bags, the, the ones that I had kept some nails in and staples for lining my telephone ethernet. It was a possum. He was still alive. His nose twitching, he or she, it. It was still a baby. It must have fell through a gap in the ceiling of the ventilation ducts, leading to a vent out on the roof. He was alone. There was no food. There was no water. I'm, I'm scared. You know, he, he was scared, or it was scared, I'm sure, or perfectly content. I, I don't know. I'm no possum, so it was a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there. All alone, there was no home or mother, some utility closet out in the world in a tool bag, or it was cold. I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported that I had a loose varmint in my household. And I, I mean, I meant no harm. My cats were flipping out. My, my little kitty cats, they were flipping out. They were trying to claw under the vents. They were pawing at the door and chipping away at this little innocence that was hiding. Uh, and they were supposed to come back and pick it up and re release it into the wild. And, and Kenny, the maintenance manager, he told me it would happen. Well, now this is weird. The next week, get this. The next week I found another possum. It was the same size, same nose, identical in nature, but dead. I think. I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving his nose like the last time. It smelled dead. Surely it had found its way or fell through a gap and got trapped that was supposedly repaired in the utility closet. And it must have fell down or searching, maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or whoever, or twin brother or twin sister or whoever was first discovered in the cage. First discovered in the cage. And I guess, I mean, first discovered and caged, and I guess released into the wild. I figured the dead possum must have starved to death. No food, no water, that's, you know, just what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world behind a closet for too long. At least to this little guy. This moment of life, abandoned, forgotten, or maybe Kenny flipped out and killed it in the initial, you know, like the initial possum planted it there or something. I mean, just to, you know, you know he never released it just to be cruel. Now, I don't, I don't know, maybe not. These are the things I think of now. Pick apart like a detective, analyze, and I, to keep me away from the image of her, to stop me from remembering, you know, something to focus.